Hello, this is Human Wave. Today, let's talk about the Behringer UBXA Mini. It's a great little synth. It has, however, one major inconvenience. It has only three voice of polyphony. So today, I will show you how you can make a six voice setup using two of these, an iPad, some tweaking, and an editor that I've created for the TouchOSC platform. And the result is a UBXA system with six voice for a third of the price of a UBXA desktop. Follow me. All right, so here's a view of my setup. Uh, I have both my Behringer uh, connected through a USB-C to a hardware USB hub, along with a master keyboard and uh, my iPad using a lightning camera adapter because it's an old model. What's important is that the hardware USB hub uh, must have a power supply uh, because uh, it's needed by the Behringer's and in my case also by the master keyboard, which is an Arturia Keystep MK2. And then uh, since we want uh, both Behringer to act as one single synth uh, with six voices, uh, I'm driving all the parameters uh, through um, uh, a panel that I've created for the Touch OSC platform and it drives all the parameters through a MIDI control message. And then the other problem is uh, the um, distribution of the polyphony because each Behringer can handle only three voices. So I'm using here an application called uh, AUM uh, I will talk about this uh, later. Uh, it's a great uh, app and it's uh, basically like a Swiss army knife for everything audio and MIDI. And here I'm using it mainly for the MIDI uh, to distribute the voices for each of the Behringer when I press uh, a chord, four, five or six note chord on my keyboard. Uh, so I'll discuss further on the UM setup uh, and then, of course, we'll go through the actual demo. Okay, so let's look in more detail about what is needed uh, on the iPad. So you need the Touch OSC uh, application to run the panel to control the uh, UBXA minis. Uh, here I'm using the MK1 version, which, which is cheaper. And then you need uh, an app that I did not mention before. It's called Polytemus AU. It's a MIDI effect that will be used to distribute the polyphony. And this Polytemus will run inside the AUM app that I uh, mentioned uh, earlier. So this one is a bit more expensive. It's however very well worth it because you can use it for a lot of other application than the demo I'm going uh, to perform. So once you have this um, tree app, you launch the AUM, uh, you, you click on the plus, this is the, the main screen, and then you will select MIDI, uh, then uh, MIDI, you click plus here again, and choose audio unit processor, uh, uh, audio MIDI processor, and you can uh, select this Polytemus that you installed before. And uh, once this is done, you open Polytemus, you just need to select uh, six voice uh, here. And also you need to make sure that the true is not set to on. It must be off here. So once this is done, you can close this uh, and go to the, the routing, which is this icon. Uh, make sure that the key step uh, here in my case is the master keyboard is connected to the built-in uh, AUM uh, keyboard, as well as to the Polytemus uh, MIDI effect. And then you need to route the first three voices of Polytemus to your first UBXA Mini and the next three voices, four to six, to your second UBXA Mini. Then in terms of setup uh, for the polyphony, you are all good on your iPad. All right, so here's the demo. So you have here the USB hub uh, and the UBXA Minis one and two and the AUM uh, app for controlling the polyphony and my master keyboard, uh, the Keystep MK2. Um, now here, if we just hit one note, we can see 
that we are just distributing this one voice. However, if I'm going now in a chord mode on the Arturia uh, key step, uh, and let's make sure we have, um, yeah, I have the major nine chord. So if I hit a key now, we can see three voice here, three voice here being distributed. And therefore, both synths are uh, working to make this happen. And of course, at the same time, I can use my panel. So now let's play uh, a quick sequence. Sequence. the uh, mapping of all the parameters of the UBXA Mini does not include uh, the selection of the waveform so here I have to still manually select a uh, square or uh, so uh, but that's because it's not implemented in the, in the CC There you go, you have a, uh, a six voice UBXA mini setup uh, with, you know, simple apps uh, and simple setup. Of course, uh, the panel I've created can be used uh, with only one UBXA mini uh, and uh, it's uh, also available. I've put a link uh, in the comment section and it's free like all my other uh, panels uh, done on TouchOS C platform. So I hope you liked uh, this uh, setup and demo. Uh, if you enjoy this kind of video, please don't hesitate and subscribe to my channel. That's very helpful to me. Uh, thanks again, and I see you next time.